Alrighty. Morning! Alright, we got some letters. Factory is understaffed. Due to understaffing, we will ask you to occasionally work overtime with increased compensation. Overtime work will end in the evening. Oof. Fucking oof. I do not like that. Alright, so is it... Okay, it's time. Well, first of all... Whoop, 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 hold on. <laughs> you got a drawing of a backpack. That's cute. All right, let's see if we can wash your face. Wash, 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 wash. Very good. All right, let's get you some food. How about a little bit of gruel to kind of get your day going? Get our big meals to start today. I need to save money. How many guys? We have very limited amount of food, and that's how much that feeds her. Please let me try and get money first. The child will understand. <laughs> My goodness gracious. Alright, and now let me fix her dress. So, before backpack. But backpack is for child to be happy! <laughs> here we go. Alright, here we go. And now we can just focus on buying food. But now you have another dress. Very good. <laughs> My backpack is so... See, look how happy she is! Look how happy! She is very happy she has backpack. She is seven years old. She doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, but all right, you have a backpack now. Now be careful with it. Meow. You too, honey. Meow. You too. Meow. <laughs> no overtime. All right, let's go to the store. Uh, we can make another cake. Let's go ahead and buy this and uh, a, a sandwich. For right now, let's work on that. So we're starting at 50, and we're gonna try to bring it up each time. We'll keep trying to, like, bring stuff- a comb? I have no idea what the comb is for, but I don't have an event for it, and I don't think she needs it, so I'm like, okay. Alright, so we bought the food, we're on our way home. Welcome home- oh my gosh, you little stinker. Uh, welcome home! My backpack is really nice! Very, very good. Alright, let's wash your face, you little stinker. Oh my gosh. And you're getting a bath tomorrow. You are getting a bath before school tomorrow. My goodness gracious. Okay, help me make some food. So we have another thing of stew. Very good. I found some sticks on my way home from school. Oh, you did. Have a look. Maybe we can make something with it. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, do uh, what, what can we make? Oh, oh, sticks. And a string. Okay. So what can we do? Can I go to Yes, you can, honey bun. Let's go. Come on. All right, let's go. Can you read me a bedtime story? Yes, I can probably read you a bedtime story tonight. Of course. Thank you. All right, so... <clears throat> the castle bid her welcome into its abode, and she looked around, staring at all of the earthly silks. She gasped and wished she could make a dress from all these fine silks. And the floating castle replied, Pick any silk you desire, and I shall create a dress perfect for the ball. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And ping! There we go. All right. I hope today will be nice. I hope today will be... Neighborhood council. This is a warning. We have had numerous complaints about German language being spoken in the neighborhood. This is unacceptable and has to stop immediately. All right, racist ass motherfuckers. But then again, this is 1950s in Norway. All right, so you're getting a bath first and foremost. Oh my gosh, do not be smelly. I will not have a smelly child. All right. Now I take some of this soup. Boop, boop, boop. Num, num, num. All right. And have a cheese sandwich to go with your fish. All right, now let's get ready for school. I love my backpack. Good. I'm glad you do. Now let's get back to work. I'm working hard. I'm hardly working. <laughs> All right, let's get some more food. Uh, let's get this and uh, another sandwich, because why not? Boom. All right. I'm home. I you learned a lot today. Very good, honey bun. Everyone was really excited today. Really? We were supposed to have another teacher, Mr. Solheim, but he can't work. I don't know why. We're getting a different teacher called Mr. Berg. I wonder what he'll be like. I hope he- I sure hope he's nicer than Mrs. Hansen. Thank you for my backpack. Absolutely, honey bun. Now, come on. Come into the kitchen and help me- 
Love the new model. Thank you. This is just for the game. Um, but let me wash your face. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Then help me make some food. So, uh... More stew! More stew for the belly! All right. And let's go ahead and keep working on those sticks. I guess those sticks... Boom! Ah, yep! It looks like we're looking at a fishing rod. All right. I'm tired. All right, let's head to bed. Come on. Mr. Berg. Sounds like someone who might be strict. A story of our sleep would be nice. Do you have time? I read you a story yesterday. Not tonight. Tomorrow. Oh, good night then. All right. Let me see if I can... Do I need to get any work done? Oh, wait, wait. Is the journal updated? Yes! Okay. <sighs> August 23rd. I have written your mother. She might want to help, although she doesn't want contact. It's hard to understand why a mother would abandon her child. But many of the mothers who had children with German soldiers did indeed give them away. It is thought around 12,000 such children were born in Norway during World War II. Most of them to young women and teenagers, like your mother. You also need to know that you are wanted. You are my child and my only family. And I promise to be there for you. That's the most important job I have. To try and keep you safe and help you cope with everything that might happen. I will try with everything I have to do the best I can for you. Always. All right. Uh, let's finish up the sticks. Might as well finish up the stick. All righty. Got a fishing rod. Cool. All right. Let's get her to. Let's go take. Good night. Whew. All right. Emotions. Good morning. It's a Saturday, so no school today. Yippee! But I still have work, so you need to stay in the house. Can I go visit Liv- Oh, wait. You probably should go visit your friend. Uh, let's get you ready first. You are stinky! Oh my gosh. Let's get you ready for a bath. Okay, well, let's get you a change of clothes then. Let's get you a change of clothes. My goodness gracious. How about this one? This is a new set of clothes. Boop! So fresh and so good. So now, yes, go, 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 have fun. Make sure she feeds you. I'm leaving now. I'll be careful. Bye. All righty. All right. <sighs> All right. Let's make some food real quick. Boop, 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 boop. More food. Can we have a baby at child needs supervision? She's with Liv, and so th they're two kids. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. I, I, d I doubt that anything will go wrong. All right, time to go to work. I'm working hard, or I'm hardly working. Alright. Let's go home. Alright, we have more money. Let's try what this is. And that. Yes. Let's go with that for right now. I'm home! I love playing with Liv! She's my best friend! I'm glad you had fun with I'm glad you had fun with her. Can we do something together? Yeah, sure! Uh... Hmm. Uh, hide and seek. Nice. I'll go hide. Okay. Where, where in the house is my daughter? Where, where can she be? There. You found me. I got my good hiding spot too. Good thing. I want you to come here. Come on. So let's make this thing and let's figure out what the heck this thing is. Boop, boop, boop. We're chopping up stuff. Oh, another stew. Oh, never mind. It's grilled fish. Alrighty. Sleepy. All right, time to go to bed. You read me a story I like? Okay, tonight, yes, I can. All right, come on. Thank you. All right, so where was I? Okay. The little girl pointed at all of the pink silks that she laid her eyes upon when she first walked in. The floating castle giggled before the f silk itself began to float within the air and wrap around itself. Large spools of thread and needles began to wrap through the silk and began to create a beautiful dress. Good night. Alrighty. I know you're hungry, I know. It's Sunday, you can come outside with me today. And if we have a fishing rod, we can go fishing. 
Me and Liv found some berries too. Maybe we can go pick them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me wash your face first, and let me, let's feed you first before anything. Because apparently you're hungry, and you're feeding like a bear. But we have some food that we can finally feed to you, so... Let's give this a shot. Okay, not that much. Alright, alright. Okay. Uh, and a little bit of jam, because why not? Boom. There you go. Not so hungry anymore. Y you're fine. You got this. Alright, now let's head on out, and uh... Can we fish? Is it a thing we can do? Okay. Oh! That's a boot. Okay, the fishing rod you made works. I mean, yeah, that's, that's- I hope it works! That's a fish! Wow, it almost got away! You need to change your clothes, Mia Moore. Alright. That's a boot. Damn it! Some weird fish. Okay, we need to go home. I really want to go and draw. Do you want to come and help me? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go draw something. Let's go! On me? Who is on me? Hmm. Turn out real good, don't you think? I need to you to change clothes. I think I want to keep this one though. We can sell the next one. Okay. Uh, who did you draw? It's Omi! Omi? Omi is grandma. She was the nicest lady ever. Huh. She must be lovely. Mm-hmm. She was really lovely to me. I think so, anyway. Can't really remember much. I see. <laughs> Cute! Alright, let's change your clothes. Well, let's take it. Let's give you a bath. It's been a bit. Scrubbing the daughter clean so she's not stinky. Yep, it's bedtime. Come on. I really like playing with Liv. She says I'm funny. And she laughs when I say my strange... Strange words? Strange words, darling? You know. Words like Omi. I am assuming Omi is German. Other strange words... Mm. This doesn't sound funny. Ah. <sighs> mm. <sighs> Shit. Shit. Liv is getting her to speak German. In an area that doesn't like German. I don't want to limit her from saying it because she should learn. Ger she should learn German. I'm sorry. She should like. She should understand and keep her heritage. But at the same time, she is a child. <sighs> you should be careful who you say those words in front of. You should. You should still learn them, but you need to be careful who you say them to. Why? There are people in the neighborhood who dislike those words. Why? Are they... <gasps> Have I been saying bad words? No, 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 honey. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Ah, okay. Okay. Hard mother right now. No, little. But some bad people used to say those words. And right now, the neighborhood is very much against those bad people. And thus, the language that they use is very intolerable to them. So don't say them outside, okay? I don't think I understand. I know. It makes no sense. It does It makes no fucking sense. It makes no sense. I know. It makes absolutely zero sense. But for your safety, my dear... You need to be careful what you say that around. But I'll stop using those words. Thank you, honey. <sighs> Sorry for sleep would be nice. Do you have time? <sighs> fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Ugh. I read to her last night? Did I read to her last night? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. For, because of, yes. Be yes, okay. You know what? For Because I had to give you a hard lesson. 
Yeah, let's read. Okay, thank you. Okay, so where was I? All right. Uh, where was I? Um, ma 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 Silks and the threads and the dresses. Okay. After waiting a moment, the dress suddenly appeared before the little girl's eyes. Beautiful to behold. The little girl smiled widely as the dress floated down and slightly slipped over her form, painting her as a beautiful princess. The castle then declared, We have found our princess. And there we go. Alrighty. Okay, journal time. Alright. Uh, August 26th, your mother. You shouldn't think ill of your mother. It is true that some Norwegian women had German boyfriends because they could offer better food, luxury items, and parties, and some were also informers betraying other Norwegians. But most were young women who probably simply fell in love. During the occupation, there were over 350,000 German soldiers in Norway, in a country with only 3 million people. Many of them lived in private homes, and many were still teenagers. When you grow older, you'll learn that you can't control who you fall in love with. That is fair. Ah, oh, this game's gonna be rough! Good morning! Alright, we got some mail! Alright, got a newspaper. Very nice. <gasps> Maybe from mom? Maybe from mom? Who do you do? What do you do with this mail anyway? Uh, nothing. You come and eat. You come and eat, darling. Um, let's feed you some soup. And, uh, let's feed you a sandwich. Very good. Um, let's wipe your face down because your face needs a wipe. All right, darling dear, and let me make this food for tomorrow. All right. My backpack is really nice. Yes, I know. We should go to school soon. Oh, shoot. Hello. Gave me food. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot to turn that off. But someone sent me a treat. Oh, my God, Nate. You are too sweet. Thank you so much for the treat. Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot to turn that off because me and Brian are having pasta tonight, but it's fine. We'll have pasta and then I'll save my pasta for tomorrow. But thank you so much. You are way too sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why am I getting emails from random things? That's kind of weird. Oh my goodness. But thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Chicken sandwich with cheese fries. Let's go. Yeah. I don't know if it makes it easy. Let's hope it does. I hope it does. I really hope it does. All right. We're very, very good. Um, I will do my best to kind of click around and make sure that I have a way to track it and all that stuff. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Also, I'm working on getting Brian his treat stream too. So that way when he streams, he can get some treats and all that stuff. And he streams more than me. So, <laughs> um, so yeah. Give me a hot second. I'm going to try to figure out how to m track these treats. Um, let's see. Keep your phone in case the dealer doesn't need to contact you. Alrighty. So, okay. Alrighty. Like, I like how also they texted me. It's like, yeah. Very cool. All right. Probably more six years. <laughs> but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I should get to school soon. You should. All right. You take care. I will. All right. Come on. Let's get going. And I'm working hard or I'm hardly working. This is my song. My jam. All right. Get some food. Let's go ahead and get this. This. Yeah. That works. Uh, what? They, they tore my backpack! I'm so sorry, I tried to stop them! It was so expensive and now it's ruined! Please don't be mad- Honey, I'm not- No, honey, I'm not mad at you. It's not your fault, you did nothing wrong. Are you okay? First and foremost, are you okay? He didn't hurt me. I'm just sad. He worked so hard to get me back backpack. And I couldn't keep it nice and new. <sighs> all that matters is that you're all right. I love that backpack. <laughs> I'll fix it for you, okay? 
Billy, you can fix it? I'm sorry I couldn't take care of it better. It's c come on. Come on, honey. Let's fix it together, okay? Boom. See? Nice and new. <gasps> you did it! You fixed my backpack! It's almost as good as new! And with a little bit of extra love and care in the middle. <laughs> if this happens again, don't blame yourself. Okay? Just, uh... Yeah, if it happens again, don't blame yourself. You did nothing wrong. Um... Okay. I got you, honey bun. Alright. Come make some food with me. Um, we're gonna make a fish sandwich. Or grill fish on some toast. There you go. Come on, my bed. Alright, you shall go to bed then. Alright. No story tonight. I wish all the mean people would go. I wish so too. A lot of us wish people, like, mean people would just fucking disappear. <sighs> Things will work out. Now go to sleep. Okay. Alright. Good night. Alright, go to sleep. Write a letter to the school to inform what has happened. <sighs> do I really want to? I don't think the school will do jack shit. <sighs> well, hopefully we got a letter from the mom to reply. Ugh. <sighs> Right to school. Some of the other children in school have been cruel to Karen, and yesterday they ruined her school equipment. I ask that the school do more to address this bullying problem before it gets out of hand. Ah, I don't think this is going to help. But alright, what else we got? Alright, is this the letter? I'm sorry, I can't help you. I have a new life and I cannot have it disturbed by mistakes from my past. Karen is no longer my responsibility. Do not write again. Siri. Fucking cunt. Ugh. Shit, expose her. 100%. It's like, you don't want to take care of the child that you decided to bear with the boy that you decided to fall in love with. Or all that stuff. Maybe, maybe if it even wasn't love. Even if it wasn't love, it's, it's still one of those things where you're like, seriously? You can't just tell me who the father is? It's not even bothering you! I just need to know the name of the goddamn father! In the news, make tasty lingonberry jam. Three uh, kilograms of fruit, one liter of juice, and one kilogram of sugar. Use whole nice berries for jam. Boil the berries in the juice for ten minutes. Put the sugar in the big jar. Pour the bowling berries on top and stir. All right. Ah, Shiza. August 27th. Maybe she's scared. In 1945, when the war and five years of German occupation ended... Many of these young women had, were paraded as traitors to the streets. Local mobs cut off their hair and they lost their jobs. Although not illegal to have a German boyfriend, it was, and still is, seen as treason by many Norwegians. The hatred towards the occupying enemy and their Nazi ideology grew very strong during the occupation. Now that we've been freed, all things linked to, uh, to Germany are seen as evil. Therefore, many of these mothers are trying to hide the fact that they had a child with a German soldier. Others feel that it's impossible to keep their child. It's hard to get jobs, a place to live, and any respect if you're known as a German slut. Your neighbors won't let you forget. Ugh! I... Ugh! I'm... I... I'm pissed off at the idea that she just can't give a name. That's the thing. I'm not asking for Karen to go back into her life. I'm not asking for financial support from this mother. I'm asking for a name. We just want to know who the father is. Because it's very obvious the mom does not want contact. And we can respect that. We absolutely can respect that. What, mi what pisses me off about Siri? What makes me mad about Siri? Is the fact that she refuses to even give that. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, I, it doesn't... I'm not angry at the fact that she does not want to be in Karen's life. And that's fine. That's, that's, as you read in this journal and all that stuff, as you read in this journal, if you were known as, quote-unquote, the German slut after World War II, 
you had a hard fucking life. Like, you were considered less than trash. So I understand the fear. I understand the, the anxiety of putting going through this and wanting to hide. But at the same time, I'm just asking for a fucking name. You're scared. I get it. You are frightened as hell that this is going to come back to haunt you. And I get it. Just give me a fucking name. Oi. <sighs> Good night, darling dear. Also, I'm making sure that I can track all this stuff. Mm, that's weird. Why well, can't I track this stuff? Hmm. Hmm. That's weird. Eh, whatever. Uh, Brian? Uh, just so you know, uh, Nate gave me food. <laughs> <laughs> so it's coming. <laughs> I am still gonna have pasta with you. Because I want a big dinner tonight. <laughs> but yeah. We can share the fries. Hold on, I just realized. Karen, are you okay? Hi, Mop. Honey, are you okay? Come on. Me and you. Go ahead and get to some food into you. Let's have a fish sandwich. Fish sandwich. Fish sandwich. Fish sandwich. Doing our best, come on. Uh, all right. Okay, let's see if we can wash up a little bit. Washy, washy, wash your face. 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 Okay. Um. Let's change your clothes. we have been wearing that for too long. Let's put this one on. It's really nice and cute. Too. I know that big girls have to go to school. But it's really hard. I really don't want to make things worse. I feel like if I send this letter to with her to school, I feel like if I send this letter to her, like to the teacher, teacher ain't gonna do shit. I really feel like teacher ain't gonna do shit. This is a shitty neighborhood. I don't feel like this teacher's gonna help. Ugh. Does the teacher know who she is? Probably. Probably. She- I'm- I'm pretty sure she knows. Yeah. So I don't think this letter that I wrote, that was for forced to write, I don't think it's gonna help jack shit. <sighs> Better to try to stop- But here's the issue. Here's the issue, Phoenix. Like, this is my worry. Being that we're in the middle of 1951 nor 1951 Norway that is very anti-German. They are very anti-German right now. Who's to say the teacher wouldn't make her do the same shit? Who's to, to who's to say the teacher wouldn't give a fuck? If anything, I'm worried the teacher will join in on the harassment. I'm worried the teacher will join in and make her do something like stand there while the bullies get to hit you and all that stuff. Or even if the teacher does nothing, it makes the bullies, like, in enraged, and it makes them actually attack her. I would 100% agree to try and stop the bullying if I personally was able to go to the school and talk to the teacher. Yeah, if it was me, like, if it was, like, physical meeting, like, hey, let's talk about this, 100%, I would, I would agree to doing this. But the game is not allowing me to physically go to the school. It is either saying I am sending a letter with her to tell the teacher, or not sending it. And apparently, according to Karen, from what we've seen thus far, Miss Hansen's not a nice teacher. She's, she's a very strict teacher. Not strict enough to stop the bullying, which is already a red flag for me. If she's not a strict enough teacher to stop bullying, I think the teacher is in on it. <sighs> I'm not sending it. I just need to... Uh, she needs to just do her best to stay away from it. So, 
she just needs to stay away from those from those kids. <sighs> I'm just hoping and praying that that's enough. I don't want that teacher making it worse. Just try and avoid the nasty kids today, okay? Oh, I think I understand. But I hate this. At least you helped me. I try my best, honey bun. I try my best. Alright. Let's go home. Stop by some food. Let's get a little less than what we usually get. Let's get that and that. Boom. Boom. Come home. Honey? Honey! <gasps> Karen, what happened? Karen, what happened? Everyone is being mean and you don't even care! I- What do you mean? <sighs> what happened? We had lectures about the war today. The teacher made me stay in the whole lecture. With my hand raised out. The teacher fucking knew. The teacher... Oh my fucking god. The teacher made her stand like a Nazi. Holy shit. I am so thankful I did not send that letter now. That teacher is a piece of shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. Everyone was looking and staring. The teacher too. She's so mean. Just like everyone else. I'm sorry, honey. I just... <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this anger we're all feeling, I want everyone to recognize. We, we need to stop and recognize this anger that we feel should have been occurring during the time this was going on. There are, were so many kids who went through this. There's a reason why this game was made. It's because a lot of kids, a lot of these Liebensborn, went, actually went through this stuff. So, this is, yeah, this is ridiculous. It's frustrating as hell. I'm pissed off. I wish I could go into the game legitimately to beat the shit out of the teacher and burn the school. Nowadays, all of us are in agreement on this. This is unfucking acceptable. This is not acceptable at all. To make a child stand like a Nazi in the middle of class and instigate the idea that this is okay is garbage. But we are unfortunately experiencing a time where this was unfortunately extremely normal. Where the children of war are blamed for the war. It's... It's the cycle of hatred in its truest form. And I can tell it's only going to get worse. I can tell... Yeah, this happened to black children during early desegregation. It was... It happened to so many... It happened to like, so many kids. Whether they be children of war, Native American children, um, black African American children, Asian children, all that stuff. It happens to so many people because we incite this idea that it's always us versus them. It's always us versus them. And that includes their fucking children. You see it all the time now on Twitter, where it's just kind of like everyone's blaming the children for the shit that their parents do. Always. Always. This is what happens when we have that mentality. This is what happens. Children are bullied. Children are hurt. It's like... Exactly, like to the disabled, um, anyone who's a special needs. It's like, this is the cycle of stupidity that humanity goes through. Unfortunately, this game is all about how we, as a parent, try and fix things. My only wish 
was that we were in this time period with the mentalities we do now. Because unfortunately, in our position in this game, we are not wiser. 2021, where we are now, is where we all would 100% protest, go to social media, yell and scream at the top of our lungs, demand justice. 1951 in Norway, post-liberation of German soldiers. That's not going to happen. That is not something on anyone's mind. And that's what's most frustrating about this game. I love this game thus far. I love Karen. She is definitely an adopted daughter. She is an adopted daughter in our family now. So everyone, please know that when this is, no matter what ending we're getting, she is our adopted daughter. We are protecting her with our fucking lives. But I wish there was a way I could do more. But unfortunately, the game is not allowing this. So. <sighs> Come on. Let's make some food. Make you feel better. I'll help you feel better. Come on. <sighs> See? You get, you, you're cooking with me. It makes you feel better. I'm sorry for being upset with you. You're always standing up for me. That makes me feel better. I'm tired. Let's get you to bed. What is wrong with- There's nothing wrong with you. Nothing. <sighs> Why would you ask that? The way the others treat me? There must be something wrong with me. There's something wrong with them. Not you. They are so horrible! I know. Good night, darling. Okay. okay. Yes, we're reading a story after today. Of course. Thank you. So where was I, princess? Uh, okay. The sound of trumpets echoed through the floating castle as it began to rise up on the ground and fly away with the girl inside. She was confused. She was the princess of this new castle? How could that be? The floating castle laid out a silk carpet, leading her into the east wing, where a lone book stood on a pedestal. Alright. <sighs> August 28th. That horrible school. I'm so sorry, Karen. I know I'm meant to be a strong parent and your protector. But the reality is that I feel helpless. Your school is the only one around, and I don't have any powerful connections in town, so... I cannot ask for help with the principal. I don't know who to turn to. But I'll try to think of something. <sighs> and that's the best I can do. Okay. Nighttime, kid. Morning. I'm glad that I have my backpack back. I'm no, honey. Let's get you some food. I know you're hungry. Let's go ahead and put this in your mouth. Very good. Okay. Have a little cheese sandwich. Let's give you a bath. Well, yeah, let's give you a bath. Come on. Very good. Is it time to go? It'll only be for a short while. Don't be sad. I'll try. I'm gonna work and not think about the assholes around my daughter. Alright, let's get some food. Alright, you. And you. Mm, another sandwich. Alright. Why are people saying I'm a German kid? I'm not German. <sighs> the boys just want to rile you up. It wasn't them. Miss Hansen said it. 
A fucking course, Miss Hansen, the dumb bitch who can't fucking close her legs for the life of her, said it. She told the whole class that I'm a German kid! <sighs> You're a Norwegian citizen. Why would they say that? What? Mm, that's weird. Well, uh, give me a hot second and maybe, I'll, maybe I can track it on my end. Is it about my parents? Okay. <sighs> Alright, let me tell you what I know. Your father was a German soldier. He was here in Norway during the war. Your mother gave you away because your father is German. Oh. That's all I know so far. My dad was a German. Thank you for telling me. You're welcome, darling. Now come on. Let's make some food together. You like it when we make food together. Come on. Boop, boop, boop. See? You're already feeling better already. Look at you. Boop, 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 boop. See? Look at that. Happy as a clam. Come on. Time for bed. What's up, hon? Good night. Thank you for fixing my backpack. You're welcome, darling. Thank you for being so patient. You know, they say that Germans are bad guys. You can't trust what they are saying. That's true. So the Germans were the good guys? <sighs> Shit. Well... It's complicated. I don't understand at all. Things have changed a lot. Now that I'm grown up. I was kind of looking forward to starting school. And being around more kids. I thought it would be nice. I don't understand why they have to be so mean. Miss Hansen. And some of the grown-ups. They look at me like I've stolen or broken something. I haven't. I've been good. Really good. Not even getting a backpack worked. I... Maybe there is something wrong with me. My parents weren't married. Was that because I'm bad? No, honey. My dad is a German. Maybe if he's bad, then I'm bad. But I don't even know him. So how can I be bad? Liv and me and you... We're the only good people. She doesn't like it when the other kids get angry. And she goes and hides. I'll try to hide more too. But this is my best hiding place. Because you're here to chase the bad people away. I'm tired. Could you read me a bed... <sighs> Yes, darling. You had a rough day. Nice. Thank you. Where was I? Story. Right. Okay. Um, hmm. The little girl approached the book on the pedestal, and the book itself swung open, revealing a beautiful picture of a girl in a pink dress. The words in bold golden ink said, the child who bears a heart of gold shall receive the floating castle's blessing and become the new princess of the floating castle. The little girl laughed. It's that simple? How could that be? And that's all we got for now. Oh, chapter complete. Cool. Okay, optimistic, assertive, and open. You and 72 others bought a backpack. You and 63 others still cared about her parents. You and 56 others warned against using German words. I mean, yeah. I'm surprised that, yeah, that, that makes sense. Well, I'm glad that I'm one with the majority of people on that one. So, yeah.